Okay, welcome back. So I think we are going to. Ooh. Hello. I mean. Okay. So as far as this goes, cost for all provinces is nice, obviously. Um, problem is, is um, if we. If we do for one of these, it's going to be impossible for, or not impossible, but it's going to be a lot harder for France to get it back, which means that we'll be able to keep the war score on them um, for longer. So, um, I'm not sure. If we do Paris, it's going to be easier for them to take it back. I think for this war, we'd be better off taking one of these provinces as our war goal. Um, I don't think it really matters which one we do. I guess it does kind of matter. Uh, Grickland is by far the most expensive. Unfortunately, Commonwealth is not willing to help us in this, which kind of frustrates me. Um, so I think we'll be fine in this war. Aragon, as long as Aragon doesn't peace out in the Britain War, which I'm not really sure why they would. They're, they're not getting sieged at all. Now, the problem with this war in particular is if... If we want to peace out with Britain, we're probably not going to be able to peace out easily now, since um, we'll have to handily be winning this war. Um, I I think we go with this conquest. For the Aragon Wars, we'll definitely be using imperialism outside of any reconquest. Uh, so. All right, let's get started. Let's uh, let's just have you do this, make things easier. Okay, all of our guys should be ready to fight up here. We don't even need like these these siege uh, stacks. They have virtually no forts. Go up to here. That is a level six for it. Okay, I will admit that. Um, we should not Let's see if we can maneuver around so that everyone gets to do something. I guess we'll keep you here just in case some French units show up. I say let's just knock down their fort as quickly as possible. I want to try and get the French forts done. Well, I guess they do have some more forts. I was kind of expecting... So, they might be annoying and go and unsiege some of my stuff. I could swap some of these things over to over to Aragon. Now, Provence, hopefully they aren't going to be too annoying and come down here and try and cross the straits or something silly like that. I mean, we do have this level 6 fort right here. Uh, let's recall from you. Envoy travel time. Yep, let's go ahead and take that. Z's outbreak, excellent. We love to see that. Okay, hopefully you are doing what you need to. Why are you not 
going in. Sorry, I my mouse was too close to the uh, to the keyboard. I accidentally bonked it. Come on. These really shouldn't be very difficult forts to take. I know we're really overkilling this, but I'm really not hurting for manpower yet. And I'd rather deter any possible... Just go and fight the guy, please. Okay, we do have the ticking war score now. Or war goal. A, the sack of Chartres, Chartres, and something like that. Um, let's go ahead and pay the money so that we get the, the professionalism. Let's go ahead and move that. Um, I don't really think we need that right now. So, greens. And high nut. Are you serious? <laughs> These damn leers keep dropping like flies. Alright. Okay, they are going to desiege that. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Okay, come on. Take something, please. Let's get another leader over here. I'm not being too picky with the amount of siege or the amount of pips on our generals. I just don't really care enough to bother with that. Oh, for Pete's sake, game. I think this is like the second disease outbreak we've gotten on this siege. I don't want to advance too quickly, just because I want to be able to keep my armies grouped up in case a large stack shows up and tries to wreck us. Alright. The figure out who's technically in this war. Well. Okay, looks like uh, this is part of Utrecht. Didn't think this. Didn't think that was. Okay. Um, Utrecht is right there. We're going to have to blast down a couple of forts in order to get to them. All right. I guess the question will be. What will it take to get the four provinces we need? 15 war score? I think that's going to be pretty doable. Um, once we take Paris... Obviously, we could sp actually split this army up into two. don't necessarily like um, using a leaderless... Really? 78% siege? Okay, what's going on? Alright. Well, you... That is 71% chance, so... Uh, negative 71% chance. So I think we'll be fine. Okay, I don't like that the French army is coming back. Looks like they might try and sea trace us. Okay. Let's see if we can get out of here. Really? Well, that's actually pretty frustrating. Now, what is the Liege? I should have expected it, and I'm not Liège, uh, Provence. 
what is your army quality like? You have decent morale, but not like... I should have expected this, and I kind of was, but I was really hoping they'd just let us take this province. Personally, this is not a great fight for us. Okay, new trade good. Alright, let's run back. Okay. We'll run back onto this fort, which has a leaderless army. Now, it would have been really nice if we had, you know... Maybe, you know, finish the siege already? I think as soon as we are able to, we're going to run onto that province. Did kill more troops than we lost, so that's always good. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and smash a couple of small stacks. Take our morale tick. Okay. Any chance you would just, like, give up and get out of this war, please? Go ahead. Wait for them to lock. Keep running around with an 80k stack, but uh, gotta take what we can get here. Church, hey, that's annoying. Watch them take the siege back, like, almost instantly after I fought tooth and nail to get a 78% siege on a level 1 for is just ridiculous. At this stage of the game, that that's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, what is Utrecht's? Should probably just do war enemies. Okay, maybe maybe war enemies is not the, the correct thing. Go ahead and go after we go after this one or do we go after maybe we go after the Utrecht one since Excellent. Um, Years of Separatism is pretty nice. Looks like the French armies are starting to show up. I mean, we could just hire a Merc stack to help out. I don't think it really matters. We're not hurting for manpower, but... You, you're you going to stand right there, aren't you? Uh, let's see what these Neapolitans do. Local trade power, local manpower. Um, we're making the most from trade, but I think we'll take manpower just because we're hurting. You know, we're, we're going to start hurting for manpower. Paris is lost so that's i mean that's the primary reason why i wanted to do um let's wait for him to lock so yeah oh, for... <laughs> stupid rebels
Let's see if we can knock out these these guys. The only benefit to that is the fact that we do get a. Uh, oops! Did not realize that we were going to catch this French stack. Upside, we did make them break their sieges. Should probably fall back to Cone, though. Get out of there. We did kill far more troops than we lost. Ottomans, why are you being such annoying jerks? Okay... Um, can we... Nope, we apparently do need to take this fort back. Antwerp. You dickheads. Stop it. We get out of here. Nope. Probably can't even move because of this fort. Five day siege ticks is pretty annoying. They might come after this army. I'm wondering, could we maybe get you out of here? Nope. Could we maybe just peace out France? Nope. So, yeah, I think it was the right move to declare for just a plain conquest um because it was going i knew it was going to be tough to keep paris wow we are losing a lot of manpower right now we need to get some of these troops off of here get out of this province. Okay, that's annoying. Alright, well, I'm not really sure what we can do to kind of stop this. We're just gonna have to... You dickhead! France is being a dickhead. We did take Charte. Go ahead, get a leader on you. We are going to want to run back. Um, damn it. Because of the stupid fort, now I can't... We're probably going to lose that army. That's actually really frustrating. Okay, we're going to need to, like, hire a merc stack or something. Unfortunately, they don't have merc stacks that I actually like. No leader. Go ahead. Get you guys down here. Um, I mean, we did kind of... We killed something. Unfortunately, I can't get out of here because of all of these stupid forts. Group up, 
See so if we can catch and try and remove some of these smaller stacks, just kind of. Yeah, that's really annoying that I can't move this army at all. He's he's essentially dead. I mean the only thing that I can really do with them is just keep the other armies distracted long enough. And there goes another siege that they won by far more than what they should have. Okay, any of these we can kind of catch as they're leaving? 13th. So it does... we will catch a couple of them. Alright, well, um, I guess let's put a general on. How did you get that province so quickly, Aragon? Um. Yeah, this war is definitely going not according to plan right now. It's actually kind of frustrating how much more difficult this is being. I mean... I just hate that we're using so much men, or so much manpower on these stupid uh, sieges these guys are taking back in like no time at all okay hopefully they did not let that siege go for very long so we were at least able to take it back pretty quickly um we should maybe try and stop them because I didn't let this thing refill very quickly um well it actually did fill up pretty quickly I a little surprised by that it'd be really nice if we could kill these armies a little faster okay it's like we could catch a random cannon um we won't be out until the 31st so we might as well just ship consolidate they left a random um army with no leader Get in there, try and get this, uh, try and uh, take this fight before. Ooh, nice. Rebels in the way, that's handy. Wasn't expecting you to show up. Could we maybe win this fight? Thank you. Okay. That French stack might move onto here. If we could... You're not going to be willing to peace out until they're on low, which means we're going to have to take Paris from them. Which is going to be annoying. We're not even going to try to reinforce this fight. Okay, let's remove that. We do need to try and take Paris. It'd be really nice if we could take this in one siege tick. 
Um, we could take the extra tactics, and honestly, I'm going to. I think we need all the advantages we can get right now. Come on, take it. Take it. Yes! Excellent. Um, are you actually locked? Okay. Part of you is. So we can at least catch some of them. Um, okay. Apparently, uh, since I wasn't paying attention in the board, um, we unfortunately... You dickheads. Sorry I'm getting frustrated with them, but France is being a major jerk right now. Because now I can't... This fort is restricting my movement a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and just take that. Okay, is there any policies that we might want? Advisor costs, aggressive expansion is both very nice. Global tariffs, doesn't matter. Relationship slots... I don't think really matter right now. Honestly, this one is probably the best. Okay. This only has four. Man, they really want to get Paris back. We could take this province. We might be able to just convince them to peace out. Let's start occupying some of their stuff down here. Come on. Take it. Please. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh. We unfortunately don't have the middle points to bust down the walls. Yeah. Cool. I can take it back later. It's just annoying that they are sieging down my stuff up here when I really don't want them doing that. Oh, for... God. I swear, I, I realize that France is technically a lucky nation, so getting some of this stuff is probably going to happen. Uh, looks like they are coming after this leaderless stack, which honestly, you know what? Maybe we can convince them to run around Iberia again. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, there's that province. Let's wait one month so we can give this thing a reinforcement tick. Um, the other thing is this. That's going to be a little more difficult to get rid of. Okay, let's go and try and relieve the siege. Honestly, I'm, I'm curious. They are. They are actually taking the bait. Well, some of them are. Alright. Looks like they're going to... I'm not going to put a leader in charge of this guy, because it seems like they're more drawn to a leaderless stack. Okay, they did de-siege that, but they're fo Some of them are focusing on this leaderless stack. Unfortunately, since I did move on to their capital, it seems like they're going to kind of prioritize doing stuff. Oop, um, we don't actually want to fight you. Just want you to not focus on the stacks currently sieging down your cap. 
any chance any of these guys would be willing to just peace out so I don't have to fight you? <sighs> no. Unless we went over there and actually started sieging them down, we're probably not going to be able to get them to peace out. Okay, there's Valoy. I think we just have to focus on taking down France's forts. Do want to be careful because we don't want them to actually get drawn to the Malaga fort. Um, I think we take this fight. I think our advantages will outweigh the disadvantages involved with this. Could we maybe please take Paris? Sweet. Could spend some mill points to try and get this fort knocked down. God, we... I just have the worst luck with sieges. It is ridiculous. Okay, they are still chasing. It seems like they do want to. Should probably have this guy on Force March. Well, maybe not. Let's see if we can convince them to keep following. Excellent. We took Paris. Okay, they are almost willing to peace out right now. If we can get onto, like, Rethel or something, they might be willing to just peace. Okay, so they break their alliance with the Aragon. We get the four provinces down here. We could wait, like, until the end of the year and just get a little bit of money. But I don't think it matters too much. So, break your alliance with the Aragon. And give us these four provinces. <sighs> okay. That was quite the painful war, I will say. Alright. Britain is willing to peace out as well. Um, we could give them that, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, we'll take as much money as... Well, actually, let's take war reps if possible. Oh, shoot. I accidentally cleared the entire offer. Let's do that, and then let's take any money. Okay. Excellent. Whew. Banish the Europeans. So, uh, prestige, so let's go ahead and just placate local rulers. It's 25 prestige. You don't need, like, a certain amount of prestige. No, it doesn't appear so. So let's just placate again. So we're not overkilling prestige. And, yeah, Defender of Africa. The morale advantage will be quite handy. And that's all the missions. So, now that um, they are no longer allies, Aragon has a province that France wants. They should never want to be allies again. They shouldn't. Whether they do, I don't know. It's just going to kind of depend. Alright, so now we need to get our, our young men home and start replenishing our manpower because we are really hurting right now.
should go ahead get some troops this way um we could just disband these guys but honestly i'm just gonna keep them I don't have enough transport ships to get these guys home. Okay, well, I guess we'll disband them. Core. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this beautiful Congo. Um, while we're at it, I should probably go ahead and start Diplo annexing Funge. And yeah, I think we're going to put a cut in here in... Well, you know what? What we should what we should do is we should rival Aragon. <laughs> Almost, you know, two hundred years worth of allies uh, gone now that uh, I kinda need the land. So no longer allies. Um they I mean they do desire a lot of our provinces. I should have maybe used whatever favors we had left they ironically would still do some stuff for us but unfortunately um yeah we just lost all of our favors so oh well we we tried well i mean we tried to kill the relationship so we succeeded uh let's go ahead take another claim and in the next episode, I think we're going to kill off Jenne. That'll be the last um, African power in Africa that isn't um, one of our guys. So now, Aragon basically has no friends. We unfortunately do have to wait five years for the truce to be over with. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. So, all right. I will see you guys in the next episode, and we will continue to um, try and win this uh, this achievement. We're, we're really close. Like Aragon and Jenny are the only two guys on the continent that aren't our vassals. So I think. Uh, this campaign is going to be wrapping up rather shortly, but all right. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.